Waking up to the moon and light with you By my side in the sunshine through the window We were in love Yeah, at my door at nine in the morning Telling me all that I have done wrong And you're saying I'm a fool You're not probably gonna like that I've been hanging with Mary Jane And I'm high on sex, not amphetamines So damn it, call me a fool And I said, well, Mr. Church, man, stop knocking at my door I said, oh, Mr. Church, man, you know that I've heard it Oh, before When I go, let me die full by the sea And if the ocean lets us make it bigger Well, you can come and drown with me We'll die fools in love Die My fingers long your neck And your chest can lay against My own can see This trust is reserved And oh, we'll be up late at night Losing sleep, drinking wine under the stars And the fear of that I hear you Speaking of, sir, I've heard it all before You're not probably gonna like that I've been hanging with Mary Jane And I'm high on sex, never amphetamine So damn, call me a fool And I said, well, Mr. Church, man, stop knocking at my door I said, oh, Mr. Church, man, you know that I've heard it all before When I go, let me die fooled by the sea And if the ocean lets us maybe You can come and drown with me We'll die fools in love I said, well, Mr. Church, man, stop knocking at my door I said, oh, Mr. Church, man, you know that I've heard it all before And when I go, let me die full by the sea And if the ocean lets us a maybe, well, you can come and drown with me Oh, die fools in love Die fools Die fools So we're up to the part now where we've just finished drilling the holes in these jigs. So the jigs are 600 long and they have the same diameter or the same uh, width as the rulers. Um, that's just for convenience, it's just a little bit easier to attach the rulers uh, to the jigs um, and keep them from wobbling around. I've secured these as you've seen just with tape, it does a great job. 
So the tape's really important to keep the ruler from moving during the drilling process. That's really important, the ruler can't move when you're drilling the holes. And in this case, these have come up perfectly. Um, the two jigs, I've still got the ruler attached to one of them. What we're going to do with these jigs now is um, the jigs have got seven holes all up. We only need really four for the for the base uh, of the jig and the other three holes uh, we're going to cut um, this at 348 and it should be left over with about 212 millimetres. These holes will align on top of each other um, so the two bits of wood we're going to laminate it together. Um, one of the holes is going to be um, a little bit bigger. I'm just going to run it through the drill now. Um, the shank on uh, the forcing a bit that we're using to create the 20 millimeter holes that we're going to use in the in the bench um, needs to go through one of these holes. Um, so this will be hole number six, um, and that needs to be the width of this. So it, um, in my case, this shank, shank is um, 10 millimeters. So I'm going to get the 10 millimeter bit and run this through right now. Okay, so we've now drilled the 8 mil ho uh, the 10 mil hole. Um, I've also put a bearing on the top. The the idea with the bearing is um, this is just uh, sort of a cheap bearings that you can buy from eBay. It's got a um, this particular one has the same uh, internal diameter as my uh, shaft on the forcing a bit. Um, and essentially all you do is just line it up with the hole that you've just drilled here, the 10mm hole. Um, to keep it in place I've just put a couple of screws um, and the tips of the screws are just holding um, the bearing in place. And this will just give it a, uh, a tighter fit and, and more um, accuracy when you drill that hole. You don't have to do it, the hole itself is is pretty good, but if you want it to, to last a little longer, I think that might um, do the trick. Now, uh, we're not going to use this whole thing as the jig, we've got to, from here, turn it into the jig. So, I showed you before that we, we've, we've made two of these, so we cut um, the last three holes of this one, and laminate it on top or screw it on top um, of the other one and because it's got the holes it's very easy now to align everything up I'm just using um, a couple of three millimeter pins these are actually uh, rivets but they ha the mandrel is uh, three millimeters so it, they fit perfectly and they work really well um, for this particular application we're going to have to use these um, when we're actually laying out the holes on the table so they'll, they'll come in handy again. So essentially you put that second bit on top, you line it up with this and just screw it into place. So there's a couple of screws at the bottom um, for each side and a couple of screws at the top. You can see this one's got um, the bearing as well. Now all we need to do is once we've got this in place is to turn it into the, the final part of the jig is just uh, uh, cut the excess off. So I'm going to do that now and then I'm going to show you what the final thing looks like. Okay, so we're at the point now where we've uh, cut the excess off. So essentially what you're going to get um, is a base with three pinholes in it. I don't know if you can see that any better. Um, but these will be the pinholes um, for lining it up on the table. And um, there's one more bit here that we've got to cut out the, the centre bit and now forcing a bit will run through there so I'll do that and I'll show you what that looks like when it's done okay so we've cut out the last bit so that little notch there at the bottom now uh, it makes the completed jig so what needs to happen then is with this jig we've got our forcing a bit it just pops up through the centre there and then that um, when we put it on the table we'll align the pins at the top uh, like this so it's nice and straight and then this will help us um, 
drill those 20 millimeter holes that we're after. The second one that we've got to do will be exactly the same as this, so the same style and design. The only thing that will change is at the top here where I've got these uh, three exposed 3mm holes, these need to be 20mm holes. Um, and you'll see why when we start to drill the table, but it's important that we have two jigs, one with 3mm holes and the other with 20. So I'll get that and then we can get cracking on the table.